Hello, today it is a video on how to take apart this Satellite Pro, so Toshiba Laptop Satellite Pro R50-B-12P. Uh, other model numbers that are on it is uh, 1EU forward slash plus zero forward slash PREU and part number PSSG0E and then a dash 024013MP. And it's just a standard Toshiba laptop. And in the instance of this one, the hard disk has developed some dead sectors or bad sectors, so I need to extract the hard disk and replace it. So, first thing on almost any laptop when replacing or trying to take off the case, take out the battery. There we go. Screwdriver time. It's going to start with the CD drive one, which will be this one, which is not as recessed as all of the other ones. There we are. I shall screw that back into the CD drive for safekeeping. And now unscrew the rest of it. So I'm going to go uh, start from around the edge and I'm going to put my screws that I unscrew into a little map of where they came from so that it's easier when I put it back together to know where the screws went. Also, these screws are different sizes. So of the three that I've undone there, two are the same length and that one there is a shorter length so again another good reason to when you take apart a computer uh, make a map of where the screws came from so you don't end up screwing a much longer screw into a recess which takes a much shorter screw and I have to say I've done that in the past and you end up with a little bulge in the case where the longer screw has deformed the plastic. So always be wary of which screws came out of which location. If you haven't already got one, a magnetized screwdriver is a really good tool as well because you don't have to keep turning the machine upside down to extract the screws when you've undone them. You just lift it out using the screwdriver. Uh, if you have a strong magnet, you can actually magnetize your own screwdriver as long as it's the, the correct material. That's all the screws undone. It's now time to move or remove the case. So I'm going to use a very thin, I guess, spatula, painting knife, something or other. 103 RGM is the model of that. You can get it on eBay, oh, sorry, Amazon in the UK.
and something like this is a much better idea than using a screwdriver uh, because it's got such a large uh, face it's far less likely to cause gouges in the plastic. So now this corner here is loose and I can lift it up just need to get the rest of it undone. We're now up to the corner on the other side. I managed to undo most of it, it's still clipped in uh, probably about there, but it's now at the stage where I expect just the rest of this I can do manually. There we go. So don't just rip it up, just gently lever it up and wobble it a little bit and the clips should undo. And there we go, we've opened up the machine, let me find somewhere to put this. And we can now access the RAM on this one. It has one four gigabyte stick and there's space for another stick of memory. Got the BIOS battery, the Wi-Fi card, the uh, fan assembly and heatsink. On this one, because some people ask, the processor looks like it is BGA soldered onto the board. So you wouldn't be able to replace the processor on this machine. Uh, you've got the card reader here. So the SD card reader, the touchpad and the touchpad buttons here, and a, an external audio and USB board here. And what I'm after is the hard disk, which is there. Uh, it looks like it just lifts out and the serial ATA connector should just gently ease out. And there we have it. That's the hard disk removed and it's a very good idea to use an SSD for a replacement. These days it's very disappointing using a traditional hard disk as a replacement drive. The machine will feel slow. An SSD is not very expensive. For, so in the UK this one is about £20 and the performance increase you will get is absolutely worth it. So I've added the SSD and pushed it back down. A lot of people then ask in my YouTube video comments, oh so how do I then get my data from this onto the SSD or the replacement hard disk? In this instance the original hard disk has a problem and it isn't a good idea to clone the data from that. If you've got uh, drive errors being reported and if you use something like crystal disk info to look at the smart data and it says that it has pending sectors or uh, unreadable sectors you don't want to attempt to clone the drive you just want to start from scratch. So create a Windows 10 ISO or whatever operating system you're using a USB install stick and install from, uh, from scratch and then try and recover what data you can, so just your data and not the programs or the operating system from your old drive. If you did want to clone your drive so you knew that the source drive was accurate and easily readable, then a USB 3 to serial ATA connector is a good idea. And then use a bit of software called Macrium, uh, which is free, so Macrium Reflect is free. Uh, and you create a USB install, uh, sorry, a USB rescue disk using another computer. Boot up into Macrium, plug in your old drive via USB, and ask Macrium to clone the drive onto the new drive. So that's the SSD in. That's all I needed to do, and um, let's put it back together. Put the cover on, push it down in all of the uh, edges and just make sure that it's flush and we can now put all of the screws back.
Let's all the screws in. Time for the CD drive. And the battery. And there we go, that's one hard disk upgraded or replaced in this Toshiba satellite laptop. If this video has been useful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.